Anybody else do that in Disney where it's just like everything you see is extra gorgeous? Or is it just me? Like there's Spaceship Earth right behind me. crazy I can remember so many times walking through this breezeway right in between here between this was interventions what's now being used for mouse gears this was interventions and that was mouse gears and yeah this is just so wild to me it's very exciting times I love documenting the construction because one day you know we're gonna have this will be the creation shop and it's like we can look back on this moment oh those are cute forever you're making I would imagine they have over here forever your mini so cute oh i could look at merchandise forever you guys know that you you know me there's like different stuff i have not seen <gasps> we saw those pink ones the other day the pink and blue but yeah i have not seen those those are cute with the 71 the year the park opened yeah those would be good gym pants biker shorts Oh, this oh, is for those new emos. Oh my gosh, it's a little like chair. They have accessories. Yeah, these are the newest thing, these new emos. And look at this. And you can like pose them. They're poseable. They have Winnie the Pooh. They have like a bunch of characters now. There's Mickey Mouse. And the whole thing, you can take them like through the parks with you as like your little park buddy. And it's really cute. They have like a bunch of outfits. Like your new emo can have a spirit jersey. How adorable is that? Yeah, so this temporary mouse gears does not have nearly as much as regular mouse gears used to have, but it's still nice to have during this time. Okay, so we located the summer stuff. Here's the bag that I just bought last night in Magic Kingdom. Let's see, I think I like my pattern still the best. That's always then, once you make your lunch by purchase, you always worry, like, if you're then gonna find one that you like the placement on it more, but I think out of these, I'm still very happy with the one I picked out last night at Magic Kingdom. This collection is just so pretty. It's so tropical. It's very summery and Floridian. Casey, those are the shorts. This is what my mom got. Are you very happy you want how you bought the shorts? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I got them. They look very comfy. Very nice. I know. How much are they? Should I get them for myself? They're $34.99. And I did just treat myself to the lounge plus. So I'm like, oh. Maybe I'll hope, try to wait till they come to the outlet. <laughs> oh my goodness, shout out to Sandra, the amazing cast member. She went back and she said, these are the very For last ones. One. They were in the very back. They were the very last ones. That it never hurts to ask. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. <laughs> Yay, mom. Big shout out to the cast members. Always making the magic around here. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. <laughs> very successful trip into Mouse Gears. Cannot even believe that. The very last scrunchie set that they had. So now we are heading to, I believe, through Soren because we just checked the app. It was only 20 minutes. So we're gonna go try to get on Soren, and we really just wanna walk around. We were gonna do test track, but it was showing 40 minutes for a wait right now, and we were gonna wait, but it's just so nice of a night. It's like we kinda wanna be outside walking around and just enjoying everything because it's just so beautiful here. Like the sun is setting right now. It's a perfect, perfect evening. Walking back past our Purple Martin friends up here. It's so cool seeing them so active right now. So this must be like the time, like the season that they are doing their thing and they're here. Look, you just look at them. There's like every house has one. <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. And then there's a, they're like all oh, around that one. Mom just spotted our baby duck friends. That's them. Yes. There they, are. Oh. <laughs> there they go. There's a couple of them lingering. Oh, they're lingering the behind. Wait, I see them. Oh my gosh. That was the best getting to see them the other day. You're so precious. Okay, 
it's soaring high. This is always just such a fun ride. Like, as many times as you do soaring, you know, it, it never gets old. It's like everything at this point, you know? And it's just one of those things, too, that's like, you cannot ride this enough during a trip. Like, we have some of I feel like our record sounds like five times or something that we've been on tour and during one singular trip because that's how much we love it. Glass dividers, which literally, when we just wrote this on Saturday. Saturday, today is now Wednesday. The plexiglass dividers in between certain seats were still up. Now they are all gone, and they're still separating parties by telling them keep one seat in between you guys. But there's no longer the plexiglass there, so certain things are slowly to, yeah get back yeah. to normal, which is exciting, very exciting. I also always like how in this kind of waiting area, those seats look like actual seats you would see at an airport. I just think that attention to detail is really cool. Okay, so as our Epcot evening is kind of winding down here right before the park, it's getting ready to close in a little bit. We still have, what time is it? It's currently, it's 8.43, so almost 9 o'clock. Epcot is open until 10 tonight. And we were thinking, what do we want as like kind of a really late like dinner kind of? We are craving some Mickey pretzels. So that is our game plan. We're gonna get some Mickey pretzels, but I think we're gonna get them to go. And the very friendly cast member inside of the land here actually gave us some um, clear, like plastic bags, like fresh bags, so that we could be able to transport them back to Reunion, back to our resort. So yeah, that's our little game plan for dinner tonight. There's the butterfly house. All the butterflies are sleeping right now. Mickey pretzels have been acquired. It's gonna be an excellent, excellent dinner tonight. Also, let me know, are you guys mustard people with your Mickey pretzels or the cheese people? My parents are team mustard. I kind of go back and forth, but of recently I've been like fully a cheese sauce person. I love the cheese sauce that they give you. It's probably not really good for you, but it's just, it's one of those things you gotta indulge in when you're here. I love that cheese sauce that comes with the Mickey pretzels. Because last time when we left on Saturday, we were leaving through the International Gateway. So this is our first time being here in the entrance. This is our first time getting to see this front entrance section here with the lights on now, like with the evening time atmosphere. Look at the spires, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I had seen this in videos, but never with my own eyes. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. love these already during the day and I love the way they reflect the light during the daytime but now seeing with the lights I like love all of this even more oh my goodness it is gorgeous I just keep looking back I love how the colors all keep changing and the colors around here keep changing this is amazing yes I love this whole new front entrance with the different planters throughout here and this is beautiful absolutely beautiful Makes me excited for, you know, the rest of the Epcot overhaul. I'm still very upset about Fountain of Nations not being with us, but it just makes me excited. Like, you know, this is what they've done here. I just know that the rest of the experience, it's just gonna be beautiful. They are doing a really amazing job. They didn't take it down. All right, we are heading back 
to our car now. I'm gonna go enjoy those Mickey pretzels for dinner. Look at this, those back there, those are clouds. Like, those aren't more trees or mountains. No, those are clouds past that tree line. Isn't that amazing? Like, look at this. Just the most gorgeous parking lot ever. Anybody else do that in Disney where it's just like everything you see is extra gorgeous? Or is it just me? Like there's Spaceship Earth right behind me. <sighs> I love it here. It wasn't as hard to leave right now because I know we are coming back to this park again still on this trip. So if we weren't, I would have been like having a very, very hard time leaving right now. But yes, we will be back here on Friday, our last day, which oh my gosh, I can't even believe. Today's Wednesday, a week is never long enough. You guys all know that, it is never long enough. We talk about that all the time, but that's why I just, I wanna document all these moments so that I never take it for granted living here because yeah, it's just, I, I'm not looking forward to going back home. I'm already having all those moments and trying to not think about that right now, not let that thought ruin this time. But yeah, all of us keep doing that. We're like, oh gosh, it's Wednesday, oh no. But yeah, try not to think about it. Try not to think about it. I'm still waiting for our monorail to come back. It will soon. Bye, Spaceship Earth. We will see you in a day. We will be back. Because tomorrow is Hollywood Studios, which will be very exciting. Hopefully we get a risers. Oh my gosh. Dad, it's a Herbie. Oh, that's so cool. You've always said you're going to paint my bug to look like Herbie the Love Bug. <laughs> I know. You're gonna paint your bug to look like Herbie. That is awesome. All right, and here is our car. Usually this was always the time when we would come out to the Epcot parking lot, you could see Magic Kingdom fireworks typically over there, but we still don't got our fireworks back here at Disney. We're still waiting. False alarm, that is not our rental car. That was a little awkward. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try this again. I've never seen such a bright and like orange moon. We just keep saying that moon is gorgeous. Yeah, it doesn't do it just on camera, but we're back in the room now, but the moon is gorgeous. Just take our word for it. Right, mom? It is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful night. <laughs> yes. All right, we are now back in the room. That was such a beautiful, beautiful moon tonight. Me and mom just stepped out on the balcony and we're just like taking it in, just talking about how wonderful of a trip this has been so far. It's just, it's been amazing. Like I was talking about earlier tonight in the parking lot in Epcot, I'm just like, I don't wanna leave. It really, it, it's just been such a blessing of a trip. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for tomorrow. We still have, two more days left well tomorrow is like our last full day believe it or not which is just insane i cannot believe how fast time goes when you are here but yes yeah, so tomorrow we are going to hollywood studios and we're hoping hoping crossing our fingers send some pixie dust our way we are hoping to get a rise of the resistance boarding group they have now changed up since the last time we were here in october and you had to be in the park at opening and you know try to get a reservation that whole system i documented that whole process last time i'll link that video um now they've kind of changed up the process that you can do it from your hotel room or like from wherever you are at 7 a.m so we have to get up early tomorrow to get the boarding group Hopefully, hopefully they don't all go away. But if we miss that, then they still additionally have one at, I believe it's one o'clock now. I'll insert a time if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's one. So yes, hopefully that will work out. It'll be our first time at Hollywood Studios for this trip. And I'm just so excited. Like I'm looking forward to doing Toy Story Mania. I've been studying up on some tips for getting the best score on Toy Story Mania. So that is like another highlight that I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Just so many things, so many things. It's gonna be a great, great day. We wanna ride the Skyliner at some point just because we love riding the Skyliner around. So with that, I think we are about to eat our Mickey pretzels, get all freshened up and everything, ready for bed. 
and get rested up for our day ahead tomorrow. So with that, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave me some comments down below, all of those things, the likes, your comments, subscriptions, it really does go such a far way in helping to support the channel and that does help to support me. So thank you so, so much for taking the time to do all of those things. And with that, make today magical and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye guys. Today we are heading to Hollywood Studios today. So the other reason that we want to start this day off with a Skyliner stop is specifically to the Joffrey's cart that is at the Skyliner station at Caribbean Beach Resort. Here, Caribbean Beach is such a gorgeous resort. It probably makes sense just to walk to Riviera. Favorite little Joffrey's cart. Here it is. We dream about this right here.